Hi everyone, welcome to my talk on anti-counterfeiting white light printed image multiplexing by fast nanosecond laser processing. Image multiplexing is the encoding of several images on the same layer, which will be revealed by changing the conditions of observation and illumination. It can have applications in a wide range of scenarios, from everyday objects to more critical ones, such as secure ID documents. To make these applications possible, the technologies implementing multiplexing must be able to encode a large number of images, allow revealing the images without any additional device, be fast and low cost. However, all current technologies lack in at least one of these points. To tackle this issue, our process consists of a nanocomposite TiO2 film impregnated with silver and processed by a nanosecond laser. This produces nanostructures which colors are strongly dependent on the mode of observation and illumination, such as specular reflection, scattering, etc., which makes them very interesting for multiplexing. It is fast and cost efficient. However, the color is determined by the statistical properties, which makes it very hard to predict. Furthermore, there is no model able to predict the formation of the nanostructures from the laser parameters. To compensate for the lack of predictive model, we characterize our nanostructures with a custom color camera setup, which allows repeatable and controlled acquisition of the colors in all the modes. We create a nanostructure color database consisting of 9072 squares with different laser parameters, which we measured in seven modes. For multiplexing, we need to find among these nanostructures the one which gives the required color combinations. Indeed, to print two images in two colors, four different nanostructures are needed. For this example, the four nanostructures should display the following color combination. Yellow in mode 1 and blue in mode 2. Yellow in mode 1 and brown in mode 2. Green in mode 1 and blue in mode 2. Green in mode 1 and brown in mode 2. To find these among our database, we could try all the combinations of four nanostructures and compare them in each mode. But the complexity of this algorithm, n to the power 4, is too high for a large database. To prevent this, we start by regrouping the nanostructures that have the same color, thanks to completing clustering. If we take this example database, we start by regrouping the colors that display yellow in mode 1, and we see that these can display three colors in mode 2, light blue, dark blue, and brown. Similarly, if we consider the nanostructures that display green in the first mode, a different palette is available in mode 2. This pre-processing step gives us two conditional gamuts associated to each color in the first mode. And if we can choose two colors that are in both conditional gamuts, we are sure that we can use these colors to produce two image multiplexing. Thanks to clustering, this algorithm has a much lower complexity which allowed us to apply it on a database to produce several demonstrators. The first one displays two color images in mode transmission and diffraction. On a white background, you can see the transmission image, while when lit with a cell phone flashlight, the diffraction appears. The second demonstrator uses the modes backside reflection and transmission. Here we can switch between the two images by simply tilting the sample under a light source. The algorithm can also be extended to multiplex three images in three modes. Here we show a demonstrator displaying three images without any additional device. And a fourth blank image can be added when using polarizers. 
One image is shown in unpolarized transmission. And the two next can be observed by rotating the sample between two polarizers. Furthermore, in mode frontside reflection, a fourth blank image can be seen, adding an extra layer of security. In conclusion, we created a color database by inscribing and characterizing nanostructures in seven modes. Our color search algorithm allows us to multiplex binary images with up to three images without any additional device and up to four images when using polarizers. The submission of this work to advanced materials is in progress. Thank you for your attention.